right now on KPIX5 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area. Before he was a head coach, Kyle Shanahan was once a ball boy for the 49ers, and it turns out his counterpart has roots that trace back to the Bay Area as well. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. Sports Director Dennis O'Donnell Moore on the Chiefs head coach. You know, I missed Andy Reid at SF State by one year. I was a public address announcer for a football yeah. team. Missed him by one year. Now, inside Levi Stadium is a museum that preserves the history of the 49er franchise along with a legacy of football here in the Bay Area. That's where you can find Chiefs coach Andy Reid. Artifacts on loan from the San Francisco State Golden Gators, a Division II program that spanned 63 years but ended in 1994. Quick pitch to Jaeger. But Cox Stadium was there. once a training ground for many up and coming coaches like Mike Holmgren, Bob Toledo, and Andy Reid. Gave you that uh, respect factor to where you are now, and you appreciate it. You don't take it for granted. Reid was fresh out of college in 1983 and needed a job. He got the attention of beloved Gators head coach Vic Rowan, who gave him a shot as an offensive line assistant. So we would destroy his linemen, and he hated that. Joe LaPapera was a linebacker for the Gators during Reed's stint at SF State. Coach Reed, like Coach Rowan, uh, was a is a true gentleman, right? The way they treated their players, they never used foul language, and I think a lot of coaches could use their way of coaching as a good tip. There were no scholarships to speak of back then, and funds were very tight, which meant Reed had to help chip in. He was selling hot dogs to raise money at state. Well, that was for the team, so we could travel. Yeah, I mean, I've come a long way from selling hot dogs to they actually, Alan gives me a couple after the game, so I'm doing good. I don't have to pay for them. It's a far cry from what he's making nowadays. You know, he's, uh, I'm sure back then he was probably like a $25,000 a year job. Today, Reed makes over $7 million a year with the Chiefs, and La Papero isn't doing bad either. He owns a produce company, making deliveries across the Bay Area at night. But he wonders what life could have been had he stayed in football. He actually asked me to coach at State. Karen was kind of like, um, I don't know. Are you going to go there and coach 10 hours a day for free for how many years before you get something? And we want to get married and have kids and buy a house. And I go, yeah, you might be right. What if I wasn't any good? You don't know. Well, did, did Andy Reid or did Mike Holmgren know they were any good at that point in their in their lives? I don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah. they that's just what they wanted, right? And so they pursued it. Yeah. And I wake up at midnight every night. <laughs> <laughs> Seven billion bucks a year for this guy over my shoulder. Despite those San Francisco State roots, Reid is all about Kansas City right now. Chiefs, the hottest team in the NFL riding an eight-game win streak. Well, you know what Andy Reid is saying? I missed that Dennis O'Donnell by one year. Yeah. Don't worry. What was he thinking? <laughs> All right, Dennis, thanks so much.